So while everybody's making videos about precision landing, which I don't really care about at all, I wanted to talk about ADS-B because that's something that will matter here in the next couple of years. Stick around. What's going on everybody? I'm Original Dobo. Thanks for uh, coming back by. If you haven't already subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button at the end of this video and turn on notifications so you don't miss videos just like this. I do a new video every week. You're going to want to be here. So ADS-B, what is it? What does it do? Why is it such a scary little acronym? Well, I'm going to explain this all in probably under five minutes because I think it's pretty straightforward and simple, but there's a lot of reasons why you should need to know about this because it's coming to a drone near you in 2020. So ADS-B stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. So basically, it's automatically broadcasting your GPS coordinates, your location, your data to a ground station somewhere. And any ground station can have access to that information provided they are within a Class Bravo or Class Charlie airspace or have the necessary needs to access that information. So it's not like your drone's just randomly giving your information out to anybody. They in turn take that information and broadcast that out to let's say commercial jets or other you know people that are in the same airspace as you so it's not like somebody on the ground is going to know exactly where you are per se they have to have necessary needs to access that information but they call it surveillance because they don't need anything to negotiate that data from you with the mavic 2 enterprise you can actually toggle this on or off they have a mode called local mode where you can turn this on or off but in 2020, it's going to be required that anything that is basically flying or any aircraft flying will need to have ADS-B broadcast. Now with the Mavic 2 Enterprise, I can actually see information from the airspace around me like commercial liners. I can see them and know how far they are from me, which is pretty cool. And they are also getting information subsequently from my drone, not maybe the specific airliners, but ground stations around me know that I'm there, know that I'm flying. Another use case scenario for this, let's say you own a fleet of drones and you were concerned where those drones are at, or let's say if they're actually up in the air, if they were stolen at any point, as long as you're the owner of those drones, you will be able to now track that information and track those drones. Of course, you'd have to be registered to those drones to be able to see that information. And I know this can sound pretty scary because we're all about privacy nowadays, but it's really not as scary as it sounds. ADS-B was really designed to try to bring the FAA rules and regulations and airspace to the 21st century, essentially. It's going to revolutionize the way we fly. Now, I'm not advocating for it. I know it sounds like I am, but I am genuinely excited for this technology because it means I will be able to see information around me. It's sort of like having radar on your drone, essentially. No, that's exactly what it's like. It's like radar for your drone. There's been times where I'm flying in a city and I'll hear a chopper coming and I can't see which direction it's coming from and I have to bring my drone down to a level of where I know I'm safe. To have more information around the airspace is not necessarily a bad thing. And then in terms of the government, they obviously want to make sure they can deter drones from being used maliciously. This is another way they can do that. So ADS-B will be something that is standard across all aircrafts in 2020. And this was something that was decided well before DJI was really a thing. This was like back in 2010 that all these things were negotiated. All this information is out there on the interweb, so it's not like I'm telling you anything you don't already know. I'm just condensing it all into a smaller video so you can stomach it. But the Mavic 2 Enterprise does have it. It's the first DJI drone to really have this built in. Of course, other drones have this that are a lot more expensive, but we're going to see this on consumer drones. It's not really the end of the hobby in a sense, but it's one of those things we really can't have our cake and eat it too. We need to have safe airways and we also need to make sure that it's governed somehow. And I can see that this is only the start with the enterprise of something that will be mandated on all drones going forward. And uh, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I've played with it a little bit. I think it's only the future of what's to come for the drone industry and I think we gotta get excited about it. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video today, make sure you drop it a like. If you learned something new, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. As always, stay original. Uh -huh.